Hello, it's Stephanie with Coffee Paper Scissors. I have decided to add a pocket on the back side of that page we were working on in the last video. And so, um, like I said before, in this kit, you get so many pages. And then, so this one, he gives you, you know, in different sizes. And then this one was there. And it, like five by sevens and then bigger ones. So what I'm doing is I took, I'm gonna make a journaling card out of this. I cut out the house. I cut that part off of the top. And then I'm going to decorate with the little flowers, um, I think. So I'm just gonna move this off to the side. And then I have an old, just an old book that I have torn a couple of pages out of. And I'm going to double it up so that it's stronger. It's pretty old, so it's cracking, you know, as you double it. Um, and then I'm going to do some trimming on it. Let's see, I think I'll mark it. So maybe around here and here. Make sure I have it in the right spot. It's it's close. take just a little bit more off this side because it's not equal. It doesn't have to be equal, but I, I took too much off of one side than the other. And then I'm going to take a little bit off the top also because I want more of the house showing. Let me grab some glue. Um... I'll just do my this uhu glue is so old that it's not the color it's supposed to be anymore. Let me get this out of the way. I have so much going on on my desk right now, it's ridiculous. I think that what I'll do is just kind of put this in the center and then I'll still put um, the other glue around the sides. And I have to work fast because that stuff dries really fast. It's probably dry already. I, I'm i not impressed. <laughs> I've never been impressed since the time I bought it. I bought it one time. I've never bought it again. Uh, does not work for me. Okay. Yeah, this book is pretty cool. The people actually acted out the play. There's all kinds of notes that people did. And it has a signature on the front. It was Eleanor M. Fishers from Hamburg, Iowa. And it, it there's lists of who played what part and stuff like that. So it's kind of fun. All right. I cut this part off the bottom. So the house was sitting here. I was thinking, let me see, because it doesn't have the same thing on this one. It only has part of it. So I was thinking that I might be able to just use uh, some of it on each of the pockets. Because again, I, like I said, I'm doing two journals. They won't. I don't know that they'll be exactly the same, but they'll be mostly the same. Okay, so if I go like that on one of them, and then the other one I can do the other direction. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Where's my ink? And I've been switching out my 
inks doing these pages. Um, where is my, am I missing one? Oh, never mind. I had it already. What I was thinking to do was add, so like this one, this one was actually at the edge, so I can add it kind of there maybe. And then I was thinking a label cute, right? I mean, I, I'm good. I'm good with it. <laughs> what do you think? Let's go ahead and glue this down. And I'll probably go ahead and stitch around the pocket too, because you know that always adds a lot. A little bit of ink around the edges of this. I'm not going to do the whole thing very, very intricately. I'm just going to get the major edges. A lot of glue. Ah, it's going to seep out. I just made a mess. around this one. Um, these labels were pretty sure Pink Monarch print labels. I'm pretty sure. Pink Monarch prints. I believe it's a, with an S. They have really good coupons pretty often, so, you know, wait for coupons. I'm going to cut this one going the other direction. So it's coming out of the hill like that. So I'm gonna glue, let's see. If I want this there, is that there? So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this, make a little mark so I know where I'm putting it. That will be covered. And I am having butterfingers. So these other flowers that I cut off, I can decorate the opposite page with them. I don't know what's going to happen on this page yet, but I'm going to leave these here because I'm sure that I'll use them. I just don't know how. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to stitch around this. I'm also going to back this with something. So we'll see you in a minute. All right, so I found some coffee dyed um, cardstock, and I am going to 
glue it onto that. One of the little flowers I cut off, I'm gonna stick right there just for a little fun flower. You know, I, I cut them off, but I'm putting it right back on again. down at first I was thinking to put this down in the shape of the house and then I thought no I think I will put it down onto a piece of paper rather than have it the shape if that makes sense I think you know what I mean To round the edges. It's always easier to get something into a pocket if the edges are rounded. Okay, I think that's really cute. Let's go ahead and ink it. still have to add some of this sort of design to some paper in the third signature. So I think, I mean, I think I can add that to this video. So again, remember that this is, um, the kit is from Bontic Vintage Designs and he has given us a code. It's 50% off. It does not expire you guys. So that's very exciting. The code is Stephanie50. You have to make sure you spell my name correctly. I'll show you here in just a second. I have my little Thanks Anton sign that I'm keeping so that I have it all correct. And then I'll also put the information down in my description box. But make sure you spell my name. There's no E at the end. There's no PH. Stephanie50. Again, I'll have the information in the description box. And I'm putting these up here as just kind of a tab. So mark this and put the glue down here. And you could sew around it, but I'm not going to. This is such fussy um, paper here. I'm afraid that if I sewed around it, it might tear the paper, even though I have it doubled up. I'm just not quite sure it would be able to handle it very many times. But, you know, you could sew around it. Isn't that cute? There we go. So there's that page. I like it. I like it. it's it's a little different for me. It's fun. Again, I'll use these somewhere. It could be on this. It could be this. It could be both. I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick them in this pocket. So I remember once I get back to this page adding more things, then I'll know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pause this while I figure out what I'm going to do in the next signature. We are going to try one more combination of colors. You guys are probably getting tired of it, but you know, I tend to not make as many videos as I used to because I'm always worried about you guys not wanting to see what I'm doing. And I figure um, maybe somebody does, so <laughs> maybe not. We're going to do some blue 
and some orange. And then we're gonna poke in a little bit of, this is called rhubarb stock, just to give the orange maybe a little bit of a deeper color in a few places. Maybe we'll just put a little down there. And then a little bit of brown. Let's see what happens. Move that out of the way just a little bit. I'm probably not putting enough um, ink out towards the edges, honestly. Okay, and my brush probably is full of something color. I don't know what color. Nope, I think it was fine. So we're just gonna kind of blend, blend, blend. I don't want to I'm not sure about the blending of the blue part. <laughs> I just don't want it to be in the shape of the teardrop or the whatever you want to call it. All right. I'm really getting down in that fold. Hmm, I don't know about that. Don't know about that at all. Okay, I am going to wipe that up. And we're gonna do the other one. I'm gonna add more orange, less brown. maybe none of the red color. And then I will dry these and then I might add to them after I've dried them. Let's see how that looks. I've been listening to the 50s station on my radio, car radio. So I have all these um, different things going through my head, the shoebox type things. <laughs> it's fun to, fun to listen to. I get, I don't know. I, hmm. I'm not getting it wet enough, am I? Okay, I'm going to dry these and then I want to add more orange. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea or not, but I have spiced marmalade distress oxide. So we're gonna try it. And then just kind of um, touch it in places, you know. Look at how bright that is. Ooh. Okay. So. Oh my goodness, it's bright. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't understand how it's. Okay. I guess I'm probably just not putting enough water. But that's. Right. That's right. starting to drip. I 
I don't want to hate it because I don't want to not be able to use this page. Wow. We'll see. That doesn't look orange to me anymore. It looks green or yellowy green or something. Well, hopefully it's usable. We'll see. It's pretty bad, isn't it? I'm going to see if I can make it work. I'm not quite sure how. Maybe by covering it up entirely. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I'm going to dry it. Look at how different the two of them look. This one looks orange and this one looks yellowy. Isn't that strange? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see what happens after. They're mostly dry already, actually, but I'm going to dry them a little bit. All right. I think it turns out okay. When you see it all <laughs> in all its glory, maybe not so great. But when you see it as a page, then I think it calms it down. I also inked around it and I inked through the center. And then this one looks like that. So, and what I was hoping was, you know, some of it was gonna show through with some of these other pages because this was all so monotone at first. And then over here it has this page and so you see some of it you know that's what I was going for I really did have a plan <laughs> all right so what I'm going to do next I just want to make sure that I'm covering up my light put that there so that it's not so shadowy okay so this is one of the images that comes I think they're the five by sevens and I started cutting it and I thought, no, nah, I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm actually cutting these two apart like this. And then I'm going to just kind of do a little bit of a like a mimic kind of a thing where I cut that. I want it to be a little straighter. That's a little straighter, I think. And then maybe it would be fun to do this. Okay. So there's that one. And then this one, maybe we'll give it a little curve. And then a little further. I don't know how straight I'll be able to do it. And I'm just going to curve it around that tree and then back down. Okay. I don't know what to call this. I'm going to be adding these to belly bands, but okay, before that, I'm going to put it on here just to make it stiffer. But I want to ink it first. So I figure since, you know, since they're wonky houses, the things like my cuts don't have to be great or um, precise, I guess. And they can have a little something different, you know, like this is totally not even, you know, normally I would want sky on both sides, but this is wonky, right? So I don't need to have sky on both sides.
So I've been, what have I been doing? So I thought, oh, I'll tell you guys about my Saturday. Of course, it's Tuesday now. Oh, the glamour of the things that I do. <laughs> um, on Saturday, so our, are you ready for it? It's not, it's not glamorous at all, you guys. So our toilet in the uh, bathroom, the ensuite bathroom, our toilet was wobbly. It has been for a long time. So finally, my husband decided we were going to do something about it. So we fixed the wobbly. So that was exciting. Yuck, you know? Um, I always think about like if I didn't have my husband, he's very handy. And if it, if I didn't have him to be able to do these things, what would I do? And I would have to pay a plumber or pay an electrician or pay a, you know, fill in the blank. So I'm very thankful. Not only for that reason, I have a wonderful husband, <laughs> but it is nice to have a built-in plumber. Um, anyway, so the toilet is good. And then I decided, I was mentioning in a video last week, I believe it was, that I was feeling like I wanted to get out of the house because I was feeling the, you know, like just, I don't know, cabin fever. So there's a street in Spokane's Monroe Street and on Monroe Street, they have a bunch of vintage shops. When we first moved here, they were antique shops, but they, I don't know what they've done with all of the antique furniture that used to be in these shops. They must, must have put them in storage until somebody cares again. Um, I still care, but a lot of people don't. So now it's just a bunch of knickknacks, which I don't need, but I still like to go and just look around. And, you know, every once in a while you, you might find a treasure, but, um, so I did that. So after we worked on the toilet and fixed that, um, I went into town and I walked around by myself in the vintage shops for a couple of hours didn't find anything to buy, which is really strange because, you know, I'll go in and it's virtually the same things another day and I'll want all of it, but not this time. I didn't want any of it. There were quite a few people out and about, so I think I wasn't the only one feeling like they needed to get out of the house. <laughs> um, you know, it's been very gray and that sort of thing around here, so... And then I came home the night before that I had made, I was going to, well, I, I made an enchilada casserole. I decided I make my enchiladas with corn tortillas and it is hard to roll a corn tortilla and have it not um, crack, right? And so I have gotten to where I don't even bother anymore. I just make a casserole out of it. So I just layer it up like a lasagna and call it enchilada casserole. Well, I put too much enchilada sauce in there and as it was baking, it made a mess in the oven. So after my um, trip into town, I came home and had to clean the oven. And so, you know, another glamorous job. But, you know, I got it done. It wasn't that bad. And then um, there was something I was going to say about that night. Oh, so, you know, I was sleeping. <laughs> I have the strangest dreams, you guys. I was dreaming. I think I fell asleep watching or hearing something on HGTV where they were redoing a kitchen or something like that. And then I was thinking about paper because I'm always thinking about what I'm going to do in a journal. You know, I, I'm like, okay, I need to make a video. What am I going to put in the video? So I was thinking about paper and I was thinking about kitchen. So in my dream, they were remodeling a kitchen and making the cabinets out of paper. And I was so upset telling them that it was not going to work. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous <laughs> so and then I wake up distressed you know like 
I take it very seriously. I'm like, you guys. So I wake up and frustrated and yeah, so silly. I have dreams like that all the time. I don't know if anybody, you know, not like paper kitchen dreams, but dreams that things aren't going the way I know they should go and I get very upset about it. I don't know if any of you guys want to um, play my therapist and tell me what my dreams are all about. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a belly band. And we're going to cut it about there. I have it lined up on one of the, you know, these horizontal lines here. And then this is three and a half inches. So one, I don't know, I'm gonna do this. That would be, I was gonna say 1.75, but I was like, no, that can't be right. That came to me too quickly, but that was right. Or one and three quarters. Okay. So here we have a belly band. And what I'm thinking about doing is making it so that this moves back and forth. Just for fun. So I have to put a thing around it. That shouldn't be hard, right? Let me see. Let me grab my scraps. So what would you call this? It's, it's, it's still just a belly band, but it's a belly, it's a fun belly band. <laughs> okay, this is a fairly bendable, but it's cardstocky. So I'm sure that's a word, cardstocky. So if we fold it over like this, we want it to be straight. And then fold it again. I'm going to put a line. I want it to be loose enough that it doesn't drag. I don't want it to be hard for it to move. And then we would just cut that. And then we would attach it here. And the thing will go through it. Like that. Oh, I just wanna make sure it's, it's plenty loose. Okay, let's do this one. Well. I just need to fold it. Yeah, so the song I have in my head, I don't know the words, all of it, you know, it's just like I've heard the, I've heard bits and pieces of it for years and years and years of my life, but it's called Denise, and I just heard it on the radio. It says, <laughs> I have that in my head. <laughs> Sorry about the singing. <clears throat> but anyway, okay, I'm going to ink this. I'm thinking that I am going to stitch around it as well. It's funny how a person can know so much um, I mean, not know, because I don't know the music, but to be aware of so much music, but really not know why. Like, I know that song, but I don't know why I know that song. I listened to a lot of my parents' albums when I was growing up. That was not on one of the albums. I know that for sure. So why do I know that? And a lot of times they'll put things on commercials now, you know? 
but I don't feel like that was on a commercial. I'm gonna pause this, I'm gonna sew around these. Okay, just about done here. I stopped and made a couple of little um, tags to go behind these. So I sewed around these and it just needs to be glued on. I want this to be glued down here. So I need to see where I want it approximately. No, I want this like this. So I want to see where I want it on the thing. So in that area. I can go ahead and mark it because this will not be seen. I mean, it doesn't have to be level or anything at this point. I'm going to glue this. I'm going to glue this. I said, I'm going to, it's great, great um, English I'm speaking there. <laughs> when you do videos and you watch back to make sure things are what you think they're going to be, I don't, I don't watch back my entire video, um, but I watch back a portion and some of the things that you hear yourself say that you don't realize, you know, that's the way you talk. It's very humbling, you guys. Doing videos is very humbling in, in more ways than one. If, if I'm not humbled by my own thoughts, somebody else is going to humbly humble me. <laughs> Just give them time. <laughs> so, haven't had that happen in a while. Okay. So there's one, and that's trash. Where'd my other one go? Oh no. Oh no, where is it? Where is it? There it is. So we want it like this. So we'll glue that down. And the reason I'm doing the part, this part on this side is so that whatever I put down in the belly band isn't going to get caught. If you see what I mean, it's smooth back here or, you know, ish, smooth ish. what I wanted to do, right? I wanted to do that. So I just need glue here. We also just finished watching Alias, finally. We watched it back when we were first married. And if I remember right, we quit watching it. Well, there was something that happened in the series that, you know, sometimes things happen in a show and you're like, that is so frustrating. I am not watching this anymore. <laughs> well, I think that happened in that series. But um, I decided to go ahead and, you know, we were looking for something to watch and we decided, you know, we would watch that. And so... We made it through. We knew what was going to, we knew there was a frustrating part. And so we made it through it. But you know, when um, a series goes on for a while and they start getting ridiculous, isn't that frustrating? It's like a TV series should only go so long, period, because that's exactly what they do. The writers start reaching and it gets irritating to watch and we used to watch shows one week at a time right so that goes back and forth that's kind of fun right so you can journal and you can move it so there's stuff that can be kind of hidden but you can anyway I don't know just something fun and different and then I made a little card I took one of the pages and I just took I cut it 
and I tore it and I attached it to a flashcard. And then I put a Tim Holtz uh, couple on there. So we're just gonna put that down in there like that. And that one will be good. Probably have, you've probably had the light fixture showing up there. And now we'll glue this one down. Anyway, we finished watching that last night. That was good. I think I had already squished those down. Okay, so it moves back and forth. This one's a little tighter than the other one, but it still moves. And then I'm gonna have this one on this side because the little figure is on this side on this one. So maybe you can see her under there. All right, so I just have to figure out what I'm gonna do over on this end, but I don't know what that's going to be yet. So. We're going to call this a video and I will see you guys soon.